Hello everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math Lessons. I'm your host, Sean E, and today we are doing a proof. Always my favorite days when we get to do proofs, because proofs are really my favorite thing. So today we are proving that a radius of a circle that bisects a chord of that same circle has to be perpendicular to that chord, and of course we are working in Euclidean geometry. So let's get in it, let's get into it and get out of it real quick. So we've got a beautiful circle here, as beautiful as I can draw. It's got a center here, and let's just draw some chord, which is a segment that has endpoints lying on the circle. So now we will draw a radius that bisects this chord. That's part of the if part um, of the statement we're proving, if a radius bisects a chord. So here we've got a radius, and it bisects this chord. So we know that this little piece here is congruent to that little piece there. Now from here, I'll label this center O. From here, we can draw a segment from the center over to this endpoint of the chord. And then we can also draw one from the center over to this endpoint of the chord. Let's call this point here A, and let's call this point here B. And then let's call this point there in the middle X. Now we just need to prove some triangle congruency. So we know that side OA, excuse me, I wrote it wrong up there. We know that side OA, this side, is congruent to side OB, this side here, because by definition, they are both radii of the circle. And of course, radius, um, all radii of one circle are congruent. It goes from the center to a point on the circle. So both of these sides are radii. So we get this, OA is congruent to OB. And also, we know that XA, where X is this point here, XA is congruent to XB, because we assumed that this radius bisects the chord. So we were given that this is congruent to this, xA congruent to xB. So there's two sides of the triangles being congruent, and then the last side, of course, is OX, and congruence is reflexive, so we know that OX is congruent to itself, and therefore we know that triangle OXA is congruent to triangle OXB by the side, side, side triangle congruence postulate. So because of this, we know that this angle and this angle are congruent because the triangles are congruent. So we'll get into this angle OXA is congruent to angle OXB. We know they're congruent. We also know that they are supplementary because they fall on this uh, line segment, this chord, and then from there it is very easy to show that they are both 90 degrees. If you already know that, then you're done. If you don't, then I'll leave that to you to prove. I, I also have a video if you get stumped. Um, I have a video on proving that congruent supplementary angles have to be 90 degrees, so you can check that out if you want, but it's very easy to show from here that these two angles are 90 degrees. Therefore, by definition, this radius is perpendicular to this chord. So we finished with showing these triangles are congruent by side, 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 and then therefore this angle here is congruent to this angle here, and because they are congruent supplementary angles, they have to be right angles that have a measure of 90 degrees. Therefore, by definition of perpendicular, this radius perpendicular to that chord, and I'll just put that little bit in there um, for completion's sake. So that is how you prove that a radius is perpendicular to a chord that it bisects. So I hope this video helped you understand how to do the proof. It's a nice practice, a lot of fun. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe to the swankiest math videos on the internet. I can hear your voice from all the way up here, dear. Won't you please come to me? You'll have it up here, dear. There's a light where I Oh, that erases all black It makes everything